Scary looking monkey. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on the Hot Toys Spider Man PS4 Spider Punk VG M032 video game masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure. Try to get your Hot Toys, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh, I've been excited for this one for so long. Cannot wait to open it. Nice packaging right over here you can see a spider symbol anarchy burger right there you get a skull with the mohawk really like that a lot and this is all matted except for the glossy spot varnished section right here where it says spider-man and the spider punk himself and you can see uh, this is all spot varnished and you get a bunch of images from the video game right over there so that's really cool on this side you get a spider symbol it says spider-man spider punk suit and then on the back right here you get some warning stuff on the top it says spider-man uh, spider punk suit and then on the very bottom it says marvel spider-man you get this magnet right over here on the side that closes or holds that whole flap together and you get another spider logo right over there and you can see the figure inside and on this side you can see a silhouette or an image of the spider punk and then you can see all the people or most of the people responsible for creating this figure but you can definitely see all right that's it for the packaging so let's get to it and crack this thing open bam here's spider punk out of the packaging doing a little crowd surfing i don't know i've reviewed so many spider-man figures i was trying to think of something new but anyway cool figure i am so stoked to have this figure it is quite awesome there are a lot of things i really do like about it man it's been a lot of fun uh, i have a couple of gripes but for the most part dig it i want to take a look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at spider punk as always you want to make sure you read through the instruction booklet before messing with the figure but it's a punk figure so we've got to break some rules and i'll get into that more later on uh, my biggest gripe with this figure is actually the accessories i just had some bad luck uh, we get the dynamic posing stand right over here with this base which i typically very much like and you have the little spring-loaded clamp and it has a soft felt right there but it does not port in properly to the base right here so this just comes off super easily that's very annoying we do not get the metal plaque but it does say spider punk suit right over there and you get some nice art right up here on this display base uh, like the friendly neighborhood spider-man that we see right there on the back of the figure as well you get anarchy burger again or just anarchy and then get uk flag and some skulls and then toast yeah toast is punk rock i really like the skull with the mohawk though that looks cool you get a cd right there i guess that's supposed to be like the stones they're not punk rock why are they there Ooh, that almost looked like the fiend for a second but yeah kind of neat but a little disappointing because this doesn't work and we get this web sticker again like we'd seen with the advanced suit i don't really care for it don't really need it and it's catching some of my fingerprints right over there i'm just going to put this aside and then we get six pairs of interchangeable hands and we get the spider drone right here an extra set of wrist pegs an extra little set of buttons right there and then we get the webbing that we've seen uh, many times before with our hot toys spider-man figures nothing really new right over here you've seen this so we get the short thwipping webs the longer thwipping webs and then the web swinging web and then we get the splayed out web right over here that you could attach to the end and then you get the spider drone which again looks great pretty sure it was the advanced suit that had this as well but you get articulation on the legs right over there so you can turn them side to side again it looks really good same exact thing as before so nothing new over there and then the hands i'm kind of frustrated with man i feel like we could have gotten more hands or just a more variety of hands that were specific to spider punk i do like how the webbing is different on the inside of these i get a feeling that hot toys just has like a base model or a base mold for all of their hands and then they just add different sculpting on top of it because there is this subtle texturing in the red portions that's really hard to pick up on camera and now you can see it so yeah you can see that right there and i don't usually see that on the hands but i do see like the general shape and gestures of these hands you know you get the whipping hands fisted hands web grabbing hands right there you can see the relaxed hands see how it's a bit different on the inside you get the wall crawling hands so the only two new pairs of hands that we get with this figure are these guitar holding hands and i don't even really like to use these and we'll get into that in a little bit when i talk about the guitar more so but i really wish he had a hand that had a guitar pick in it you know what i mean that would have been really cool or a rock on gesture or something like that you know but eh, anyway the guitar at least looks awesome so i love how the guitar came out this is just great now the instructions tell you uh, not to pull down on the whammy bar they call it a vibrato 
vibrato bar because vibrato means when you go wah, 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 like that. That's what a whammy bar does. But yeah, you get some nice humbucker pickups right over there. The bridge looks great, and you get your knobs and everything. There's your input. So that's pretty neat. I don't know what these do, but yeah, it actually has strings on it, and the directions tell you be very careful with these strings. Do not pull on them or anything. So, hey, the fretboard looks pretty accurate too, so that's pretty cool. I like how the headstock looks right over here. So, yeah, the guitar is actually pretty awesome, man. I dig this quite a bit. Here's the back of it. That's even well done. Great looking guitar. These lines are all sculpted in here. This is not just painted on white, so that's very, very cool. But yeah, the reason why I don't want to use these relaxed hands right here, or these guitar holding hands, is because I don't want to mess up these strings, and they seem very, very delicate, and I don't feel like I can really get the hand on here. All right, I decided to buck up and try to show this on camera right here, and it is very scary. I'm very scared about ruining the figure. Ah, oh, jeez, I can see those strings moving right now already. I'm trying to peel these fingers around the strings so I don't get any kind of string pulling. Oh, jeez, I can see the strings moving right now. Very uncomfortable about that. So you can get the hand on there. I just, I just prefer not to use this. And then getting this off looks really tricky. Maybe if I, oh yeah, I can see fingers catching the strings right there. Okay, so just be very careful. It'll work, but yeah, you have to just be super careful. But for me personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and opt in using the web line grabbing hand instead. That'll work fine for me. I'm just gonna fake it. I'm okay with that. I've broken too many hot toys. I don't want this one to break. Plus, it looks like he's holding a C instead of a bar chord, right? Should be a bar chord. But I do like this a lot. When you first get it, you have to adjust the strap because it just comes in way too short. You could barely get it on the figure. So yeah, you wanna go ahead and feed through over here, so you're gonna go left to right. You're gonna pull this up. You can see I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, right? So I left some slack here on purpose. So yeah, you have it facing down, and you're gonna push right here and get some slack going. It's just like a real guitar strap, and then you're gonna pull on the right side, and then that's gonna give you more slack on the strap. So that's how that works. I did have this come off on me. Uh, it does make things a little bit easier taking this off. The directions tell you not to, so if you're gonna take this off, do so at your own risk. It came off on accident, but since then, I've been taking it off and on, and I haven't had a problem with it. So as long as you're really careful with it, it should be fine. But again, do so at your own risk. And then we also get three interchangeable eyes for Spider Punk. I like these the most. These are the regular wide open eyes right over here. Uh, to switch them out you just want to pick off uh, from the top on the side as the directions say and they're held via magnet so uh, we have some squintier eyes and then the squintiest eyes but I don't know they kind of look like they're a little bit too far apart to me something weird about them but don't look bad but I prefer these eyes right over here out of the three and I do like this head sculpt quite a bit uh, the red color between the head which is made out of plastic and the fabric that we're seeing on the neck is just ever so slightly different in color but just very very slight and I do wish that the studs right over here these spikes were more of a chrome metallic silvery kind of color. They're definitely a nice gunmetal gray color, which I typically do like, but I don't know. Just wish it was like a silver or a chrome kind of look, but still not looking bad. It's kind of tricky to see, but there is like a mesh thing going on right there for the eyes, so I dig that. Here's looking at the back of the head, not looking too bad. And again, I wish we had more of like a silver than a gunmetal. This is all soft right over here, so you don't have to worry about poking or anything. And I love that we're seeing actual denim over here. That's just really cool. Uh, we have the New York Hardcore translated to the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man right over here. So that's pretty neat. And then looking at the front right here, we have a whole bunch of pins, which are very similar to what we had seen on the base of the figure. There's a smiley face right there. Anarchy again. Toast. Okay. But yeah, I do like the fabric on this figure. It looks pretty good. It feels pretty sturdy. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is on the red portions, it kind of feels like scales and appears to kind of have this scaly thing going on where sometimes you can see like a lighter color where it'll look like it's thinning out, but then if you just move it the opposite direction, it'll kind of flatten out again. I don't know. If you have this in hand, you may know what I'm talking about. But I do like this material a lot, and you get this kind of vinyl seam thing going on right here for this section right over here as well. And the fabric does change. Uh, this is kind of more of a vinyl material, and this is a lot more like fabric, which is kind of neat. I like that a lot. And then looking at the cuffs right over here, or the bracelet, the studded bracelet looks pretty good. Again, I wish we had a brighter silver. I love that it's a web shooter also. So that's really cool. You could plug in the webs right there. And there's looking at the hand, you know, looking a little different from the arm, but not that much. 
Then looking right over here at the torso, it looks really good. I like the cobwebbing pattern. It came out looking really nice. And then here's coming to the side. Here's looking at the back again. Again, I wish the belt had a much brighter, shiny chrome kind of silver thing going on instead of this kind of dull look, but still not bad. And then here's looking at the legs. You can see some seams and stuff right over there. Looking pretty nice. You know, not that crazy detailed or anything from the waist down. But we do get these beautiful Chuck Taylors, which look great, or quote unquote Chuck Taylors. I love how they're dirty, so that's really awesome. I hate having and seeing clean Chucks. This just throws me off. But yeah, I think that looks really good. I like how they're all worn. You get a spider logo on the outside of them. That's really cool. You got the little flap right over here on the back. The bottom of them look great. Yeah, great details from Hot Toys on making these shoes look dirty. I really like that. I really want a set of these chucks, by the way. I would love to have these. These look awesome. Ah, and I forgot I wanted to show off the inside of the figure's vest right here. So you could see that lining on the inside looks really good. And you can see the nice pattern right there for the spider punk. So that's pretty neat. No bendy wire in the vest, though. I was kind of hoping for a bendy wire, but nope. And the figure has some really good articulation. You can move the head and neck up together that far, which is awesome. Awesome, and you can move them both down together that much. You want to be careful about getting the fabric uh, caught in that neck right there. You also get some great head pivoting right here, and of course you can turn the head side to side. I don't recommend trying to pop the head off or anything. I haven't tried doing that yet. I don't recommend you try doing that. You get butterfly joints right there, and you can get the shoulders to move outward that far. He has a bicep swivel. Uh, this figure does tend to get very bunchy. Like right away it seemed like the skin or the whole suit was super tight, and actually it looks pretty good right now, but as you move it around it tends to bunch up on you a bit like as you can see right here with these double jointed elbows but I don't think it's bad you know if you shift things around it'll smooth out for you but great double jointed elbows and then the wrist turns side to side and they hinge up and down depending on how you have that configured you get a diaphragm joint and that crunches forward right there and back and you get some diaphragm pivoting and you can turn the diaphragm side to side you also get similar articulation at the waist so with both joints moving forward he'll crunch forward that much and back that far you could turn him side to side a little bit at the waist and he has some waist pivot. Uh, the hips move outward just that far. You don't want to push it more than that. And he will kick up at about 90 degrees and back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Then the ankles are a little limited. Uh, you can move him down, up some, you can turn side to side, and you do get ankle pivot, but no toe articulation. Now to measure out this spider punk figure, you could see that he is standing just a little over the 12 inch mark. And then for your PS4 Spider-Man Hot Toys figure comparison, we have the spider punk next to the advanced suit Spider-Man and the Scarlet Spider. And these all stand at about the same height. One thing that I thought was a little fascinating is that this figure has a combination of the two materials that these are made out of. So the blue portions kind of feel like this figure and the red portions feel like this. One thing to note about the Scarlet Spider is I did get some little bunching right over here from leaving him posed on my display shelf. So yeah, be mindful about that with this figure. And then for your Spider-Punk figure comparison, we have the Hot Toys PS4 Spider-Punk next to the Marvel Legends comic version Spider-Punk. And there are very slight differences. The Spider-Punk from the comics does not have the belt, but he does have a studded choker. Uh, this one does have the belt, but it does not have the studded choker. This doesn't have a studded choker on it as well. And then the comic version has the spikes on the shoulders where this one does not. So slightly differences but still very similar. And then here's the Hot Toys Spider-Punk next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Now you know you are in your 30s and you dress like a 15 year old from 1981, right? Get out of here and change your clothes and wear something appropriate. And go listen to something badass like that new Tool album. So I obviously like this figure a lot and it has been fun to pose around, especially with the guitar after figuring out how to get it to work and everything. So I do like it quite a bit. Uh, there's just little gripes that I have about it. I feel like the gripes that I mentioned were pretty minor, you know what I mean? Just like things about not getting enough interchangeable hands. I really wish we did get more interchangeable hands or more specific accessories to Spider-Punk himself. But anyway, I love this figure. Can't deny it. And at the price point of around 250 bucks, I'm gonna give this a sud rating of I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please hit that subscribe button if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and hit that like button. And a big thanks to all these people that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. Your guys' support is very much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting this content, I recommend you check out the link below to the Patreon account. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace!
Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.